Oh, good point. So, here we have the beautiful Swamp City All-Stars. And we have two Kamikaze. One, one, Just Us. Two, nine, Giggles. Four, two, Sonic. Four, eight, Nerdiator. Eight, eight, Mad Honor. One, 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 Kill It. Two, one, nine, Marco. Three, six, eight, Missy Tero. Six, 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 Killer Doll. One, zero, eight, zero, Pestilence. Two, two, zero, two, Rutherford. Four, four, one, two, Smack Beauty. And on the bench this one, we have Rage, Nobody, Meds, and Picklebum. Hilda. And next up, we've got the line out for Richter City All Stars. So we have 09 Flying Kiwi, 101 Tough Vickies, 102 Janie Dodgem, 109 Sting, 123 Tenor, 19 Crunch, 2 Boo Hoo, 29 Harmacist, 30 Miss Defiant, 33 Nachi, 41 Renegade Reader. 412 Flare the Decks, 414 Lens Flare, 42 Filthy, 420 Furious George. And on the bench we've got Big Dipper, Rusty and Ada. Ada? Ada. Right. And up here we've got Team Zebra. We have Mr. Fox, Fouled Out, Soul, Invader Sin, Gravity Works, Dead Eye. And Paddy Wacker. Yes, Team Zebra. Whoop, whoop. Woo -hoo. So we got just on two minutes to go until it's time to play some derby. Right. Have we done intros? We have not. Oh, Tina Koto Katoa, uh, Ko Māori Vixen Aho. Ko Nova Aho. And we are both uh, from Swap City. We play for the Maraikura, so we'll be playing in the second game. And it's an absolute delight to be able to bring you live derby from Te Papaioia, Palmerston North, and the Manawatu here in Aotearoa. So if you've just joined us, hopefully you're ready to pump it up with some mean as derby action. Now it should be a really good day. I'm hoping for some really tight games. Um, should be a really close one between um, Swamp City All-Stars and Richter City All-Stars. Um, we are looking at, um, I think the Richter City team has beaten Swamp City more times than not. Um, but Swamp City is a very strong side at the moment and I think it's going to make for some very exciting derby and for a very, very close game. I, I totally totoko that kōrero. I have that I have heard um, people say that this is going to be a, an amazing game to watch. Uh, and yeah, if anything, if it was like the game that we played in Wellington in April, then yeah, hold on to your seats. We're in for a ride. Definitely. <laughs> so first up, we've got uh, Missy Tero 368 lining up, as well as Flying Kiwi 09 for our respective teams. So they're going to be jamming the very first jam, which is due to start in about five seconds. Yes. And we're underway. Oh, we certainly are. Both packs working extremely hard containing those jammers. We have a cut penalty for Missy Tittle. So she's off to the penalty box. So it's currently a power jam for Richter City. Flying Kiwi looking to get through. And she does. Good comms 
coming from the packs. And Missy Tittle is returning from the penalty box as Flying Kiwi has made her first pass. Missy Tittle is through, not lead. Yes, that took a while for her to do her initial pass. Good challenge. What an awesome start to this game. Pritka checking out six points on the board. Kapai Koto. We've got Nerdiator and Clear the Decks lining up to jam. And Nerdiator is through for Swamp City. Closely followed by Clear the Decks. Signal from the bench is hit and quit. <laughs> yeah. Nerdy hit the deck and almost took out uh, Paddy Wacker on Team Zebra. <laughs> So for those at home who might be wondering, uh, Nerdiator, who had originally been playing for Richter City, um, sorry, we got some uh, technical difficulties. Um, yeah, Nerdiator, who was playing for Richter City, is now playing for Swamp City, and we have Kamikaze out of the pack first for Swamp City and it looks like Furious George is the other jammer for Richter it is indeed Furious George and she right. has come a very long way hasn't been playing all that long um, but she's a very good skater getting three points there and we're sitting six points to Richter and five points to Swamp so don't be surprised if the points stay fairly close like this throughout the whole game Flying Kiwi and Missy Tittle lining up going to Flying Kiwi. Missy's still battling in there. Held up by Nazi. Who else we got in there? Crunch. I see uh, this is Vicious Fiji. Yes, who is Nazi? Nazi, yes. <laughs> Nerdiator and clear the decks. It's a really good atmosphere at Arena 3 here in Palmerston North today. Quite a few in the audience, which is great. Go Derby. Oh, lovely. Beautiful work from Nerdy Ada. Nice. It's a good 
put out there by just us so on clear the decks. Nudie still scoring up those points. And it looks like a power jam situation with clear the decks just having been sent to the penalty box. Yes. Yes, Richter have a pack disadvantage because they also have a blocker in the box as well. They do. It looks like 414, which is lens flare. Oh, lovely. Beautiful work from Nerdiator on the outside line. Good try there, Timo. Yeah, Nerdy calls it off. Great jam there done by Nerdiator and collecting 12 points there. Brings the score to 14 to Richter, 17 to Swamp City. Kamo to Wehe. Kamikaze and Furious George. Group first. Furious George not too far behind. I just love watching Furious George just fly around the track. Such a beautiful stride. Yes, very <laughs> elegant, very elegant. But Swamp City's doing a great job of holding her up in the wall, although she's turning and twisting and yes. pivoting and trying to get through. Great comms from Killet and Swamp, communicating with her back. Oh boy. Looks like a pack disadvantage for Swamp City. We've got Just Us in the box. It looked like it was for a high block penalty oh. to Furious George. So we've now got Flying Kiwi lining up and Killer Doll for Swamp City. Hi, right, Killer Doll's just come out of a sort of retirement. Yes, after <laughs> having a baby. But she's back now and doing very well. Swamp City just struggling to hold Flying Kiwi, who gets through first. It's pretty hard to hold back a Kiwi that is flying. It is indeed. <laughs> Flying Kiwi calls it off before Killer Doll is able to score any points. Twenty-two to twenty. Two points in it. Richter leading. Pivot line starts for both teams. They have clear the decks and nerdy eight up. The decks. Yes. yes. So we have a power jam. The swamp. Let's see if they can utilize this power jam. Yes. Ooh, very nice Beautiful sweep power. from the inside there. And a directional penalty given to Just Us. So she's back in the box. Menace coming up with Nudiator uh, jabs because she is actually wearing our Menace's top. As Menace is out with injury, which is a new thing. Yes. The swamp. A hey, mini. But she's here and she's on the penalty box holding some broken 
fingers or finger. <laughs> yes. We won't talk about that though, eh, Menace? Kamikaze and Furious George. Jam is underway. Lead jammer called to Furious George. She was hit out by Just Us, but Just Us also went out. So Furious George is allowed to jump in back on track. Great commitment by Just Us. And a nice little turn from Kamikaze there. She's through the pack now. A team timeout for Team Black, which is Swamp City. So that means it is time to hydrate. Oh boy. In this case, I'm going to eat my banana. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies if you can hear me munching. I shall move the mic away from my mouth. <laughs> so we have Swamp City playing in black today for both games, for both the All-Stars and Honourable Mare Kura. Uh, we have Richter City playing in purple and Bay City Rollers who will be playing against the Honourable Mare Kura in the second game, I believe are playing in white. I must say, people at home watching, the chat is very quiet. What is going on? Is it because we can't see the chat or people are just not chatting? So, kōrero mai. We'd love to see you guys saying hi in the chat. Tell us where you're watching from, if you're in Aotearoa or across the ditch or over the world. Let us know. And we've got an official timeout at the moment with the team timeout ending. We have Flying Kiwi and Missy Tero lining up to start this next jam. Five second call. Doing a massive job of trying to hold the Kiwi up. And lead has been given to Flying Kiwi. Wow. Uh, both the jammers are looking. Have you got lead? No, I've got lead. No, yeah. I think you're lead. No, I think you're lead. And Richter City at a definite disadvantage at the moment with only two blockers on the track. A nice little jump across the apex from Missy Tittle. Back on track. Flying Kiwi pulls off the jam. Very fast oh pace, that boy. one. Yes, that was a fast moving jam. Kapai Koto. Four points apiece there. Kia ora, Alexa, from wherever you are in the world. Hello from Nova and Vix. Hi, kia ora. Shout out to Sarah Derby. G'day, kia ora. How's it going? Well, we got an official timeout. No, yes, no, over. Back into it. Clear the decks and Nerdiator. Lovely footwork here by Nerdiator. And she's through first. the decks now through as well. And the jam's called off. So we're sitting at uh, 30 points to Richter, 35 points to Swamp City, and oh we're goodness. almost halfway through the first half. It's going so fast. It's going fast, and it's very, very close. Hello, Colonel, checking in from Hawke's Bay. We see you. Yeah, kia ora, Colonel. We miss you. Colonel's injured at the moment. 
and is, she was the um, point of point of uh, call for um, league liaison with BCR. So yeah, stink that you're not here, Ehoa, but we can see you there. Hope you're enjoying this live. I think most of your peeps are here. They all made it safely. Although I did say to Bash, hey, you brought the rain with you. But no, I think that was actually Richter. So it's only just started <laughs> raining in Palmerston North this morning. Apparently it's been raining in Wellington for a wee while. It has, it has. <laughs> and as the chat says, it's hydration time, the team timeout for Richter City. No rain in Napier. Oh, jealous. <laughs> it's always sunny in the Hawke's Bay. Is that you, Buck? Is Buckasaurus Buck? Yeah, is he on? No rain in Napier. Kia ora, Buck. I've got Woodford just sitting here beside me. Sure is. Jessica's closed, bro. Jessica's closed. <laughs> that's from, that's, that's a personal message for Buck from Woodford or Bash. We have Kamikaze and Furious George. Kamikaze through first, but she's been assessed a cut penalty. So she's off to the penalty box. So it is a power jam for Richter. Furious George has been given lead jammer status. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that was a bit of a thud. Big tumble from uh, Nachi. Mad honour being sent to the penalty box. Kamikaze back on. Ah, oh, some beautiful work from Furious George. Four more points. Kamikaze fighting her way through. Some great work on the inside line. Kamikaze. Oh, oh, that was a nice balance. hit from Killer Doll, but great balance from Furious George. Lots of huffing and puffing after that jam. Woo. Just watching is making me tired, and we've still got a game to play after this. Yes. <laughs> I have low-key anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> We're going to be doing some deep breathing at halftime, I think. <laughs> ah. Flying Kiwi and Missy Tittle. So far, Missy Tittle has been unsuccessful in getting lead jammer status. Um, but yes. it looks like she has been given lead jammer status, oh, as I say right. that. Maybe you need to say that like throughout the game though. No. Yeah, yeah. Cut penalty assist to Flying Kiwi. So they're off to the box. So power jam situation for Swamp City. Let's hope they can make the most of this power jam. Bodies hitting the floor. Yes. Some good offense coming from Swamp. But Missy Tittle is still fighting against these um, solid cat wall of Richter City. Mr. Defiant off to the box for Richter for multi. Jammer back on track for Richter. Handy in hand. Bench a calling to Missy. Missy is down and can't see the call. Marco had a bit of a call there. Yeah. The bench is calling for Missy to call off the jam. I've been calling at her for a while. It's finally caught, caught up. it off. Yeah, yeah. Getting lost in the moment. Yes.
Be of the Decks and Nerdiator. I must say Nerdiator is doing a really good job jamming against her old team because they know how she jams. Nerdy has been sent to the penalty box. Not sure what for. Possibly a cut penalty. Didn't see the call from the ref, but she's in the box now. And Claire the Dex has just gone to join her. So Nerdy is now allowed back on track. And Claire the Dex will sit the time that Nerdy also sat in the penalty box. Claire the Dex has been released. Flying around there, hit out by Giggs. And Claire the Dex has been given another penalty, so she's back in the box again for a second time in the same jam. Okay. Also joined by Nachi in the box. Meanwhile, Nerdy Eight is through for four points. Sorry, I take that back. She's through the pack. Now it has four points. Right, oh boy. <laughs> know that you were clairvoyant notes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clear the decks has been released as well as Nachi from the box. Uh, cut penalty given to Nerdiator. So power jam for Richter City. Just ask a mad on a witching card. Wrapping up Clear the decks. So it's going to be a power jam start for a Richter with Nerdiator yes. still sitting in the box. Team Zebra having a bit of a hooey. Looks like they're discussing a possible cut. Potentially, yeah. They seem to be looking at uh, feet going off the track. and So we've got an official timeout which means it's time to hydrate. I'll be drinking my wine, my water. <laughs> I thought you said wine for a second. I was like, no, we've got a game after this. It's a bit early for a wine, isn't it? Turning wine into water, my friend. <laughs> Just want to do a quick shout out to all the uh, Manatanga to Aotearoa roller derby players and supporters. Uh, I put a post out this morning on Facebook. Um, we actually have five, six, seven um, Manatanga to players here today hitting the track for their leagues, which is awesome. Can't buy. Yes, and actually. In Swamp alone, we have, I think, seven registered Manatanga to Aotearoa roller derby players, which is 10 or 5. So it looks like um, Nerdiator has been released from the box. Um, so, not 100% sure what's going on. Mm. <laughs> but the uh, the refs are continuing their hui, having yes. a little bit of koi at all bit of talking. Oh. Cardinal Payne doing a great job uh, letting everyone know that it is an official timeout. She's, uh, they, sorry, they have a glitter beard today and they look stunning. Oh, I, I did. I went and said to them that they are owning it. Looks at <laughs> Kia ora, ship stirrer. Good to see you watching from uh, mighty old Levin. Yeah, Kai Toko. Hi, Kai Fairquay, ho. Just expecting to see your Kanoi Atahu up here. Kai mm. Kadi.
Okay, so we've just had a little chat from Mr. Fox, who's just letting us know what they were chatting about. Uh, it was just because um, with both jammers having been in the box, and then both jammers ended up being released at their various times, and then the jammer went back into the box. So they're just checking that everything was all kosher there. Kia McPhears. Great to be here for you, Kamikaze through the pack first. Lead jammer status going to her. Kamikaze is Swamp's youngest player, all of 18. 18. Been skating for a long time and been following her mum, Missy Tittle, all the way. So it's great having a mother daughter combo. In the same team, even. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. Furious George is sitting in the penalty box. She's got a panty in hand. So potentially looking at maybe a bit of a cheeky star pass oh. once, um, once they're back on track. benches to call it. Oh, yeah, I think they were trying it. to get her to call it early just to keep old George in the box. I think so. Freeze her in there to start with the power jam. Good point. Missy Tero and Flying Kiwi lining up and both teams standing on the pivot line. My Hero 2 Ivy Data. Since I started skating in 2018, she's been my idol that I've looked up to, and one day I'll be able to maybe skate half as good as she can. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Oh. <laughs> but Furious George is also a force to be reckoned with on track. She's a superstar. Most definitely. We've got Clear the Decks and Nerdy Ada. Mad honours comms from the box, <laughs> supporting her team. Just ask going to the box. Nerdyator through the pack, puts her panty back on. Whee! A little bit of tumbles from them. <laughs> Okay, that's smiling. What are we at? 55 to Swamp, 47 to Richter. And we have an official timeout, which means hydrate. <laughs> I love that, Nobes. So cute. It's reminding me to. Drink all my water. Yes, this is true. Oh, Got to stay hydrated for our game. Uh, it's going to be a biggie. I'm getting more and more nervous as this game's progressing. Like, oh, oh, it's going to be our soon over. <laughs> Two swampies sitting in the box. At the moment, looks like Marco and Just Das. So it's just Madonna and Killer Doll on track. Kamikaze and Furious George lining up.
crunch doing some good offense on the two wall. Has he been told to remove her star? Somebody's going to the bin. Madonna. Madonna going to the bin. Furious George is through for four points. Just us has returned to the track. Still two blockers on track for Swamp City. Doing a good job of holding up Furious George. Meanwhile, Kamikaze is still fighting her way through. Oh, oh well done. Great Sorry. hit from Killer Doll. Good work, George, getting straight back up and yeah. get back on that track. Been oh, recycled boy. all the way back. Crunch coming in to do some mode, help her out. What type of pie George's fan club? I'd be in on that action too. Love me a good pie. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kamikaze finally through, given the not lead signal. And the jam finally ends with one swampy sitting in the box. That's Killer Doll. It's been like a rotating door, this jam of swampies going in yes. and out of the box. Yes. <laughs> Tied up, 55-55. And we've got a team timeout for Swamp City, which means more hydration time. Nova and I are fashioning these new headsets of quaddies. They look fantastic. I actually feel so professional. I do too. <laughs> we should like take a selfie so you know people on the chat you can see that you know we actually look professional. <laughs> <laughs> Might not sound professional but yeah. <laughs> and we've got an official review happening now for Black for Swamp City. So this is the first official review of the game, eh? It is. It is. And we're only, what, 25 and a half minutes into the game? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. That's pretty good. <laughs> Georgia's fan club will eat the pie before she returns a swampy win. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Win or lose, I would just eat the pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that um, the donut button. Donut, it's meant to be donate, but obviously donuts sound a bit more appealing. So yeah, if you wanna, if you feel feeling some doobie love and you would like to make a Donation. <laughs> a donation? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Yes, all fans much appreciated. And a big shout out to the fish, the officials. Oh, Kilda team, fish team, Ika. Yeah, amazing. Do an amazing job. They do. We can't do it without them. The Arena 3 is looking pretty packed for for today. Like, it's awesome. It is. It's very good to see. Still having a bit of a cordial, our Team Zebra. The, the bench crew. Mr. Fox, I believe he is the head ref for this game. He's 
having a bit of a chat with the captains and alternates for Swamp and Richter, letting them know the outcome of the official review, I imagine. And he's coming over this way, so he'll tell us what's what. So, uh, Mr. Fox has just said that there was a high block penalty assessed to Black 1-1, that's just us. Um, Swamp were trying to get that penalty um, negated. They lost the referral, um, and so the penalty still stands. Uh, swampy in the box. We do. And we have Flying Kiwi and Missy Tittle lining up. There's a little switcheroo oh, there. Yes, the Nerdy was, was standing there, but it's uh, Missy Tittle instead. And she's through the pack first. She's your lead jammer. Flying Kiwi's been recycled all the way back. She's got her panty in hand. Doesn't need to pass it though. She's through. Not lead, but she is through. Missy Tittle calls off the jam before Flying Kiwi is able to score any points. And it looks like uh, Sting and their alternate are now having a chat with the Hidi Nesso and Mr. Fox. Uh, looks like a potential another official review. It is an official yes, it review. Is which means uh, more, uh, more hydration. <laughs> Keep drinking, <laughs> just don't stop. Yeah. have three points with in this game 58 to swamp 55 to Richter very very tight game less than four minutes to play till the end of the first half meanwhile we have kill it on track trying to start a Macarena by the looks of things he's dancing around and looks like Nachi's she was swinging her That's hips a little bit. definitely a Macarena move, right? Still having a cordial in the Team Zebra Hui. All conveying very good listening skills. Mm. I would be terrible. My listening skills are not that good, <laughs> as my husband says. <laughs> Selective hearing? Well, when you have five children, you kind of go like autopilot. <laughs> and it's always, I always say no, because half the time I'm not listening to what they're saying, so I find it safe just to say no. Bit of coal, <laughs> no. Yes, well it is, yes, coal in our household. As I look around on the benches, you can see a few tired skaters. Yeah, everyone's been working very hard and it's only the first half. Oh yes. Oh man, I think they'll be all hanging out for that half time break. Yep. Yes, McPhierce, uh, Rage actually came out of cast on Tuesday, I think. So she's, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so um, captain's penalty. Okay, perfect. Okay, so Mr. Fox has said that uh, what happened with the two black jammers standing on the track and fielding two black jammers until just before the whistle, uh, Richter said that's um, an unsporting misconduct and by the new rules that is a penalty. Um, so Swamp City are not allowed to do that. They have retained their, um, they passed their official review, they, they got it. So uh, Marco, who is the captain for Swamp City, is now sitting in the box serving a captain's penalty for that um, offence. Yeah. Wow, and I just thought they were being sneaky sneaky. I know. I Here I was thinking, oh, very smart. You're going to trick yes. the jammer. Don't know who's going to be fielded. Yeah, it turns out you can't do that. Ah, okay. <laughs> Good to know. Right, yes. We won't be doing that in no. our game over. <laughs> and Nerdy is through first. She's the jammer. Clear the decks has been held up very well by Mad Honor. Oh, some good sweeping from from Swamp. And Nerdy calls off the jam. So McPhierce, I believe that um I believe that Rage was really lucky and she didn't have surgery. She was just put in a cast. I think. I should know this. I'm the physio. <laughs> Does she have surgery? Did, did she I, have surgery? I don't think she did. I think that they put it into cast and hoped that it would was, heal yes. well, yeah. and it has. So yeah, she's been out of cast since Tuesday, I believe. She was given a moon boot for a little bit um, to wander around in, but she doesn't need that anymore, and she's walking very well, all things considered. That's rage for you. She heals like, I'm sure she's like part vampire or something. <laughs> just has these massive healing abilities. Definitely. We have Furious George and Kamikaze lining up. Some good offense from Giggs, the Swamp, trying to help out Cuzzy to get through. Tino doing a great job holding up Cuzzy. Support of the And Furious George's lead jammer. Pitch jump there done by the Cuzzy. Oh, but she's been given a forearm penalty. Oh. So to the box oh, she goes. Oh. She's going to join Marco in the box. Great perch on it. just on the ground. Straight back up. Tough boy. Tough Vicky's been sent to the box. George, Kamikaze back on track. Nice. Good balance there, Kamikaze. Nice defense there done by Nanchi. Ooh, yeah. Pulling it off. Come by George. Well done, Furious George. That was a great jam. Racking up 12 points there, couple of George. 68, 61, Richter leads. Is it possibly the last jam for this half, do you think, Noves? I think it could be. We have Missy Tittle and Flying Kiwi. Ooh, Both jammers close. are out. Yeah. Lead jammer going to Flying Kiwi. Kiwi yelling at her back to get up, get up. Woo! Bit of dominoes there. <laughs> All laughter. <laughs> 
Carboy. Oh, we might have one more jam, no? They're going to set up for one, but whether or not they have one more jam will be up to the rest. There we go. There we go. Half time call has been given. So we've got a 15 minute break, and then we'll be back for uh, part two. Yes. <laughs> Second half. What a half. Holy moly. 70 to Richter, 61 to Swamp City. So, second half is going to be a nail biter. Definitely. So, Vix and I will uh, leave you guys to it for a little bit, but we'll be back to continue commentating the second half. And we hope to have you join us for what's going to be a very thrilling time. Nice. Oh, kia ora koutou, no my hooky mate. We're about to start the second half, one minute to go. Hope you, hopefully you peeps at home found time to hydrate, have some snacks, a mm, bit of kai, a bit of wai. Mm -hmm. Get ready for a thrilling second half. Richter City versus Long City. Top 10 pool game. Half by Swamper ready to go with the awesome cheer. Those of you just joining us for this part, I'm Māori Vixen and I am Nova and we are both uh, from Swamp City and we're playing for the Marekura team after this exciting game. So stay tuned if you are wanting to watch some more derbs. We're taking on the Twisted Sisters from BCR in Hawke's Bay. Okay, we have Missy Tittle and Furious George lining up to jam. And here we go, five seconds. George drew first. Big hit on Mad Honor. Missy Tittle through the pack. And Furious George gets four points and then calls it off. with a call that wasn't made. We have Flying Kiwi and Nerdy. We've got an official timeout. So uh, we are <laughs> less than a minute in and it's time to hydrate.
Team Zebra just taking a timeout, just having a forty walk. Hopefully, Mr. Fox will come over and let us know what what is up. Loving your moves, Cardinal Payne. <laughs> End of timeout. We've got Nerdy and Flying Kiwi lining up. Five second call. Nice charging start from Flying Kiwi. And very good toe stop work from Nerdy, who is through first. Flying Kiwi is not far behind at all. Chasing her down. And Nerdy calls off the jam before Flying Kiwi can get any points. the decks and Missy Tittle. <laughs> Missy Tittle through first. Uh, but she's been assessed a forearm penalty, so off to the box she goes. Okay. Power jam for Richter. Nichols doing some great work at the top there. Good reform of the pack there, Swamp. Up Very top. good. Some offense in play from Richter. But good reforming from Swamp. Nice hold in there by Man on it. Just a flying coming in. Richter doting just at the back there. Great toe stop work from Missy Tittle. But the purple wall just keeps on coming. Yeah. There we go, she's through now. Clear the decks is looking at the bench, they're saying call off the jam. She does that. What a jam. Kamikaze and Furious George. Lead jammer going to Kamikaze. But Furious George is hot on her heels. She's been told to run the jam from the bench. Good run back by Mad on her. Very good. Kamikaze through for four points. Kill it takes a little bit of a tumble. Some great work at the top from Swamp City holding Furious George in play. And we've got Tough Vicky's trying to do a bit of offense. It's like ping pong in there. Like, woo. I, don't, I don't even know where to watch, Holy to be Holly. honest. I'm sort of back and forth. Oh dear. <laughs> That did not look good, she's not okay. Skaters on the track are going to take a knee.
Three times a good time for the pets to regroup. Yeah, just regroup, have a bit of a chat, see what's working, see what's not working, resettle, get focused for the next jam. Doll is standing. She's making her way back to the bench. That's a good sign. I have a yeah. round of applause from the crowd. just chat about what happened. But both teams are ready to uh, play a bit more derby. We've currently got uh, Furious George sitting in the box. She's also got a friend in the box. Sonic and Rutherford from Swamp are trying to start a uh, <laughs> Mexican, like a Mexican wave. wave. Yeah, with yeah. Two people. <laughs> Carpai Kordua. I agree, George's fan club. Some great taping happening on the track <laughs> from uh, Fire Truck, who plays in our Honourable Mare Kura team. She's not playing today, though. Um, she actually just came back from Australia. Mm -hmm. um, got back late last night, I believe. Yes, we're lucky to have Fire Truck. She's actually here studying at Massey University. Mm. Most of her whanau are in Australia, so yeah, she went home to visit and good that she was able to come back. Yes. <laughs> Ka aroha, I radio. I feel like the energy in the room has settled a little bit now. It was getting, it felt like it was getting a little bit not heated, but very active, mm. very intense. And now, yeah, I think it's just settled down a little bit. I guess that's what you get when you have two talented and competitive teams mm. coming together. Exactly, two high caliber teams. Yes. Meeting head on. But still friends at the end of the day. Definitely. Feels like a very long official timeout. It's gone past the five minute mark. <laughs> Mr. 
stops from coming to court at all? Does he just want to court it onto the mic? If you didn't hear that, uh, we've got an expulsion for um, Purple 4-1, that's Renegade Reader, for a reckless high block. We've got a power jam start for Nerdy. to Nerdy, and that 30 seconds is up for the jammer. She's back out. So Furious George, after having a nice rest in the box there, is uh, through the pack. Yes, Nerdy went flying there, but it looks like Crunch is getting done for a forearm. on 80 and Swamp City on 72. advantage for Richter. They start the jam with two blockers in the box, two blockers on the track. And we've got Missy Tiro and Flying Kiwi lining up to jam. These two jammers have just been so good to watch today. Definitely. I mean all the jammers have been but these two just they just have a really close close battle every time. Giggs is waving yes. at, at Missy Tittle. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hello, I am yeah. here to do offense for yes. you. Yes, we went to offense, I am here. <laughs> How am I? Oh, some great defensive work from Richter, from Nachi here. But Missy Tittle is through. Gigs being sent to the box. And look 
looked like an easy pass for Flying Kiwi there. Four more points for Flying Kiwi. And Missy Fiddle finally pulls off the jam. So I think Swamp were trying to um, run it a bit there, try and get some points up. But a good, strong wall from Richter made that very hard to do so. Oh, yes. Both teams are providing very strong walls today, which was to be expected. Definitely. Need to be with these amazing jammers. Furious George and Nerdiator. Nerdiator through first. She's having a very good success rate of getting lead jammer today. Her first game for Swamp City as well. That was a hard tumble from Nerdy, but she gets up. She's all right. Kamikaze and clear the decks. So Madonna, who was Pivot, is now Jammer. Kamikaze is now in the wall. that this is pretty much a two-minute jam and there's single digits. Yeah, far out. What a long jam. <laughs> Both teams working extremely hard. And we're on, uh, Richter's on 96 and Swamp's on 77. Probably the biggest point difference we've had all game. We have a team timeout for Swamp, so it's time to hydrate. Hope everyone is all Nice and warm on the chat, wherever you are. Well, it's winter here in New Zealand, Aotearoa. Hi, Tika McPhias. 
that game just went on and on and yeah, four points. Well, that's how amazing the defense was. And here we have the competitive duo of Missy Tero and Flying Kiwi up on the jamming line. while Missy is recycled back. Oh, weird. Bit of a fall okay. from Tino. Closing that gap. Yes. We're now sitting at 98 to Richter, 93 to Swamp. Still anyone's game. That's right. We're just on halfway through the second half, so just under 15 minutes left to play. We have Nerdy and Furious George lining up. Oh, yeah. Furious George is through first. Nerdy hitting the deck again. So resilient. He's got Panty in hand. Helmet cover. Helmet cover. George is now sitting in the penalty box. Great O by Man on a and Giggles. Crunch coming back on to take away that pack disadvantage that Richter had. Good hit out by Nachi. the box she goes as Furious George is released from the box. So this will be a two minute jam as neither jammer has lead jammer status now and we've still got 30 seconds of this jam left. George. 
And that is the end of a very tiring jam. Both teams looking pretty knackered. Woo. And what a score, eight points apiece for each jammer. So the score sitting at 106 to Richter City, 101 to Swamp City. Woo. This is nerve wracking. Oh yeah. So that means another hydrate. You're telling us, McPhierce, these jams are making us hold our breath too. <laughs> Quite unusual seeing so many people hit the hit the deck in the in this A level yeah, derby. Yeah, definitely. So you can tell that the hits are very big to see so many bodies on the ground. But people are still smiling, so that's good. <laughs> and clear the decks lining up but it looks like we've got an official timeout now yes that's cutie kills our penalty box manager having a chat with the refs on track if she's having a chat with them, I start to wonder, is she talking about one of the players in the box maybe having reached their limit of penalties? There's a little conga line happening in the crowd. Ha <laughs> ha, it's our Marae Kura. Woohoo! Come out to where you go, Nova and I should actually be over there warming up with their Maynoves. Yep. <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> it's because fine. we love talking to you all. Exactly. Reporting someone's, on this amazing game. Someone's got to do the narration. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kamikaze and clear the decks. Yes. Kamikaze through first. The deck's almost through. She's run back by Killer Doll. Cuzzy through for four points. And there's been a star pass to Tough Bickies. Go Tough Bickies! Cuzzy looking to her bench, waiting for instruction. Glides around the track. Four more points for Cuzzy. Tough Vickies is being recycled back. Another four points for Cuzzy. So far, a six. Tough Vickies, you can do this. And tough Vickies hit out by Just Us.
What a jam. What a comeback. 19 points for Kamikaze. Four points for Tough Bickies. There has been a lead change. Swamp City now in the lead, 120 to 113. What a game! Yes, Omega, uh, Omega Kai, there will be some people commentating the next match. You'll actually have Mad Honor and Saki um, commentating. So we have 2-9, that pharmacist. Oh, She's pharmacist. through first. Lead jammer given to her. She's up against Missy Tittle. City. Oh, so many bodies on the line. It's like a mosh pit in there. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. People on the ground. Palmer sisters through for four more points. Missy Tittle has returned from the box. again and killer doll is still sitting in the box so i think she had two penalties assessed to her here comes richter hey, oh thomas has been held up by just us but being pulled out of play so four more points got two Swamp City blockers on track. Man, what a jam. 16-point jam from Richter City, thanks to Harmasis. Yeah. So uh, there's another lead change. Richter City now in the lead, 129 to 124. I think that was Richter's answer to Kazi's 16-point jam just prior. <laughs> We've got an official timeout. Oh no, it's gone to an official review, is it? Looks like it is an official review. minutes remaining in this game and it's still anybody's game oh weird honestly if this game goes to the last jam to determine Ooh. who the winner is oh my god i'm gonna be like yeah. leaping out of my seat because it's just so <laughs> intense oh i have a feeling it's what's gonna happen yeah <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me these teams know how to bring the energy and bring the entertainment that's for sure really to say I'm just starting to get nervous <laughs> for our game <laughs> I feel you we can see um, the Honourable Marekura and Twisted Sisters 
uh, warming up in the spare space down the back of Arena 3. Um, and I kind of wish that I was there to warm up because this game has gone well over time. So I get the feeling that to keep things on track and for the second game to still start at four o'clock, there's going to be a bit of a decrease in time um, happening between the two games. So we ain't going to have much time to get ready. <laughs> yeah, so if you see uh, two flustered looking Maraikura arriving late to the game, that will be nerves in myself. Yeah, that will definitely be us. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to mihi to the mana whenua uh, here in Manawatu, uh, ko Rangitani te iwi. So yes, Rangitani are the kaitiaki of the ancestral lands that we are playing on today. And I'm pretty sure that is rain that we can hear pelting down on the roof. Yes, if you can hear a slight staticky, fuzzy sound, that is the sound of rain because uh, Richter decided to bring the weather with him. <laughs> yeah, I blame you, Tino. <laughs> Okay, so Mr. Fox has just told us that the official review was um, Swamp City. They were trying to get an insubordination penalty removed. Um, upon review, the penalty stands and they lose their referral. Oh. Well, we've got an official timeout happening now. Here I was thinking, it's like, oh, we're going to get into some Derby. Yes. Meanwhile, it's like a hurricane outside. See all these kids rushing to have it, check it out. Sunshine Capital, eh, McPherce? <laughs> I thought that was Palmerston North. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I bet it's warm up the there, weather. though, McPherce. It'll be pouring down with rain, but warm here in Palmy, pouring down and like icicles. Oh, this rain is giving me goosebumps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is going on? Mr. Fox is coming up to the beach again. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the rain has resulted in our scorekeepers getting a little bit wet. Oh They're getting gosh. dripped on, so we're moving the scorekeeper table forward a metre or two just to keep them nice and dry because we've got to look after our officials. Um, and yeah, just unfortunately with that heavy downpour, this place is not fully <laughs> leak proof. <laughs> Arena 3, hey, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> getting some pukana from across the track by bad on a tenor. <laughs> <laughs> so I just did one back to them.
feel like we need to do some sort of like sun dance to get the sun to come back out and the rain to go away. Right, we're back into some derby. Furious George and Nerdiator lining up. Right, let's go. Furious George through the pack first. Lee Jammer going to her. Nerdy has taken off her helmet cover. <laughs> Four points for Furious George. Yeah. We also have birds in here. We just oh. had a bird fly over our head. Oh, I'm just, uh, <laughs> trying to concentrate on the game, but I'm also scared of those birds. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tickle on me. <laughs> Oh, a nice little apex jump from Nerdy. Was she successful? Nerdy, are you like Superwoman? Like flying through the air? <laughs> it looks so impressive. I'd love to see all your bruises at the end of this. No points given to Nerdy for that jump. Ah. Commitment. That's commitment. And we have another official timeout, so it's another chance to hydrate. <laughs> Gosh, it's just like they want to drag this game on and on. <laughs> I just want to know the outcome. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're still sitting where we're at. 135 to Richter and 124 to Swamp. Six minutes, ten seconds on the clock. Remaining time. Kakaha. We're getting some signals from Mad Honor. Who is head coach? <laughs> head coach, and she's telling us, shouldn't you be over there warming up with your team? And we're like, we've got this. <laughs> It'll be fine. The viewers at home need us. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Not all heroes wear capes, guys. <laughs> oh, yes, I love it. <laughs> All right, end of the timeout. We have Missy Tittle and Flying Kiwi lining up to jam. Six minutes, 10 seconds left on the clock. And Flying Kiwi is out first. Flying is correct. Trying to do a star pass, and it looks like they've been successful. So Missy Tittle is now blocking, and Sonic has received the star and is currently trying to make their way through the tough wall yes. of Richter, who are being bridged out. Oh, well done, well Sonic. done, Sonic. Some great post-op work, which she is well toes. known for. Kamikaze and clear the decks, lining up to jam.
well done to Kamikaze through first. Two blockers sitting in the box for Richter. Oh, and beautiful work on the inside line from Kamikaze. Looks like clear the decks has been assessed a penalty. They're on their way to the penalty box. So power jam for Swamp City. It's Kamikaze versus 414 Lens Flare. Beautiful sliding offense by Mad on a just us. And Kamikaze calls it off. So it will be a power jam start for Swamp City. Clear the deck still sitting in the box, which means that there is at least 10 seconds of a power jam start. Yes. Oh, it's 139, 131. Oh my gosh. Three minutes, 30 seconds to go. Nerdy Ada. into the box she goes clear the decks has been released from the box and she's now on track she's got a star on her helmet getting held up brilliantly by just us and mad on it Stars back in the penalty box. Nerdy Ada back on track. And makes her way through. Clear the decks is through for four points. That's the first four points of this jam. Nerdy Ada through for four points. This will be a two minute jam. Clear the decks through. Meta on a working hard there. New packs on it and smack. Holding up clear the decks. Oh, good hit out there. Good offense from Sonic. Trying to help Nerdy to get through. I think Nachi, Nachi got a the, yeah, she yes, got a penalty so directional. Right end, yes. So two in the box for Richter. Their pivot. Mm. And Nachi. We've got an official timeout. So we have 45 seconds left on the clock and we have a Richter sitting on 150 and Swamp on 139. I agree, McPherson. It's going to be a very interesting jam, potentially final jam. <laughs> We're going to have to wait and see what happens. What Ooh. will it mean? Hopefully, you guys are sitting on I the edge of your it. seats because we are definitely sitting on the edge of ours. I feel sick to my puku. End timeout. Both teams scored 11 points in that last game. Boom. 
So 150 to 142. There's eight points in it. Anyone's game. <laughs> I can't watch, but I have to watch. But I want to watch. But I don't really want to watch. No, I've I do. got a team <laughs> timeout for Richter City. Yep, if you've got them, use them now. Marekura busting out another chant to Tautoko Tuakana. They're all stars. Derby love. Crazy crabby eating donuts. <laughs> We're flying Kiwi and Kamikaze lining up. Two in the box for Richter. They're currently sitting on the pivot line. Smart decision. Everyone seems to be cheering, and I don't really know what's going yeah. on, to be honest. Yes, that's beautiful. Kamikaze through, Flying Kiwi coming in to hit the pack, taking a little bit of a stumble there. 42 seconds left in the jam. has taken off her panty, her helmet cover, and has passed it to Nerdiator, who is the pivot, and she is through. But she's been assessed a cut penalty. Oh, yeah. And that's the whistle. Unofficial score, 158 to 146. We'll just Holy wait for that God. final whistle. There's two sitting in the box at the moment for Richter City. I feel sick, but I feel happy, but I feel sad, but I, <laughs> I don't even know how I, I feel. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I'm a mix of emotions <laughs> right now. That was just a privilege to witness some mean as derby up front. We better hurry up and get our butts sorted and get our gears on, no? Get our gear on, yeah. So we'll so catch all you beautiful peeps on the track. Well, you'll see us on the track. Yeah, cheer for us. We'll need it. Thanks for having <laughs> us and Matiwai Tefano. Kia ora. <laughs>